The picturesque township of Tiano is a great place to organise your adventure in Fiordland National Park, but it is also worth spending a few days exploring its stunning lake and the nearby activities. Our travel expert, Debbie Griffiths, has done just that. Take a look. Tianao is the gateway to the world famous Fiordland National Park, home to 600 kilometres of walking tracks. But if you're not into hiking or walking, there's plenty more to get excited about. Faith in Fiordland is a recent addition, the crew paying respect to the vessel's history. She was built in 1935, so she's just uh, ticked over 80 years of age. The number of passengers is kept low and there's no loudspeaker commentary to spoil the serenity. It's a very personal thing. We want to uh, talk to everybody that's on board. We want to tell them about the boat. And uh, our trips are about as much about the boat and the history of the old boat and being on a sailing boat as it is uh, going on the lake and going to you know, the various points of interest that we go to on the lake. A short walk to the Hidden Lakes with fantails and robins joining us. Back on board the Faith and elegant morning tea with bubbles, enjoying that beautiful backdrop. We know that it's the second largest lake in New Zealand. It's the greatest body of fresh water in the southern hemisphere, and partly due to its depth. And the lake itself is 417 metres to the bottom. So it's a significant water mass. It's all glacial form. So um, they reckon the last ice age came through here 18,000 years ago, and the, um, the glaciers started from behind us and moved into the valley to form the fjords behind us, to the lake, and then deposited all the glacial moraine behind us. Help hoist the sails and navigate back to dry land where we're on our bikes. Nice, easy trails that families can do. Pretty much anyone can get out on them and, and the trail that we've just gone along, the new um, river trail, um, the one thing I'd say to people is you could pretty much take a mobility scooter or a Segway along and it's, it's so wide and open and easy. So you go along to the control gates which are part of um, that power scheme um, that, that links into the TY smelter down in Invercargill. Um, so that's a bit of a highlight and it's also a good viewpoint across Lake Tiano. Um, that control gate's also the start of the Kepler track which is one of the three really famous great walks um, in this region. And the bird park, um, I would say, is a key highlight. Um, you can see a lot of our endangered native birds, um, which are very difficult to see in the wild. Fiordland Cinema has daily exclusive screenings of Atafenua. Filmmakers and helicopter pilots teamed up to showcase this spectacular region. a great place to watch the sun go down over Lake Tiana before a boat ride out to the Glowworm Caves. So our cave's really interesting, it's a, it's a young cave, only 12,000 years old, uh, which makes it really, really unique. In fact, I haven't found a younger showcase cave. And uh, you'll definitely see lots and lots of water and maybe even a waterfall. Walk through amazing limestone formations sculpted by the rushing water and then those glowworms. So the glowworms, they're uh, the second stage of a four stage life cycle. Uh, they're the larva, which technically makes them a glowing maggot. The light is a chemical reaction. Uh, it's got four elements to it. So there's, um, it's bioluminescence. So you've got the luciferase and luciferin, as well as ATP, just a simple energy and oxygen. And those four elements come together to create that bioluminescence that you'll see inside the cave. Wow, it looks great. Now that cycle trail that Debbie was riding has been extended since she was there and she also tells us that entries will be opening soon for the 11th annual fishing competition coming up in Tiano on Labour Weekend.